Hey, it's Christina from Maine. When you use a Read More link on your Blogger blog, it just shows it as a text link, and that's really, it's tiny, and it's easy to get missed by your readers. So I'm going to show you in this video how to take that Read More link and turn it into a button automatically for each post. What we're gonna go do is edit your HTML, and it's gonna be totally fine, it's not scary. So we're going to go back to your blogger dashboard here. You're going to click on theme. And the first thing you're going to do always when we're going to, when we're editing themes is go up here to the top right and click backup and restore and click download your theme. And that will create a backup in case you put some code in the wrong place and things go wonky. So once you have your backup, come back to this screen and you're going to click edit HTML. This is what you're going to see somewhat like this and what we're searching for is called a jump link so click anywhere in inside this code and then click control F or command F if you're on a Mac and then this little search box will pop up in the top right corner of the code box you're gonna type in jump dash link and then just hit enter and this is the code right here, this little piece that tells Blogger to add that read more link when you use it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna wrap it in a button. So to do that, you go before the A, because A stands for link. So this is what this is what um, the link itself is made up of. This is the code that makes that. So we're gonna wrap that in a button. So you're gonna do an open caret, and then you're gonna write button. And then you're going to close that and you can copy this what you just typed the button in brackets make sure to get those control C for copy and then go to the end or you can just write it out again right after the A you can see it starts with an A over here and it ends with an A over here so paste your button again bracket button and then go to to the beginning in between the bracket and just before the B for button and put a backslash just like where it says here um, it closes out the a link we're going to close out your button so it should have it's it should say button here in brackets and then at the end button uh, backslash sorry bracket backslash button okay and then you go up here and you click save theme and then let's go check out our blog refresh the page and it's a button and that's just how easy it is if you have um if you have a customized blog or a design that you bought, your buttons are probably automatically styled so they'll look like all the other buttons already do on your page. You won't even have to do any decorating of your buttons. But in another video, I'm going to show you how to decorate the buttons if they aren't automatically styled and pretty like the rest of your blog.